Hello and welcome back to Tony Northeastern and today we're going to be looking at the Backman HO scale track cleaning car. Um, Gary from Cheeky Tech kindly put me onto these because they are quite good value for money. And um, I got it from Amazon. This is the actual vehicle. I've um, changed the couplings. Um, that was a bit of a task and a half. I changed the couplings over to a Backman 1 cap coupling. I had to. There's a screw hole in there, so what I had to do was was swap the screw out for a longer screw, and then just drill a hole in the coupling, and then screw it into the original hole that's already in there. But I had to trim down the the face on the actual body to make that fit at the right height. Um, so there you go. That's that little job done. These were the actual couplings that came out. They're the KD couplings. So I'll swap them out for the Backman 1 type. It has a block, a cleaning block, on the bottom um, with a very fine scoring pad. Basically, the whole thing moves. As it goes across points and around sharp radiuses, so that's a bonus. This is what it looks like now, but I am planning to change that because it's a little bit Americana. So I have got some northeastern transfers, and um, I'm going to paint it. Uh, I'll probably leave the body black. The actual shell, I'm going to paint it in a northeastern grey. Um, the lettering, if I can, I'll try and leave it on. Um, but we'll see when I'm actually painting it. Um, the actual couplings, when they marry up to any vehicle, works out the exact height if you swap them over and just let them sit on that lip there's a little lip just in there if it sits on that lip flush then it's the exact height for coupling up to all the other vehicles on your layout next thing to do is to start painting this fella um, I've got my transfers I've saved these from these are actually O gauge transfers for a um, the old cold wagons they used to build but if you look closely there's some northeastern ones in a smaller size they'll be the ones I'll be using okay just before I make a start on the painting these ladder rails just pop out and you can just pop them back in again um, another thing I've done is I have added some vacuum pipes I found in my common handy box. One on that side and one on that side. And uh, I think I'm almost ready to go now. I um, can't think of anything else I could add to it. Okay, as you can see, um, it's now been painted the grey. I've left the maintenance way on both sides and removed all the other decals well they're not removed they're painted underneath the paint but you can't see them and um, it's still a bit glossy at the moment but hopefully that'll tone down um, I used a grey 85 and some satin black and mixed them together I think it was two to the part one and they ended up with this grey so what we'll do, we'll let that dry now. Okay, what I'm going to do now um, is just pick out the handrails that run around the whole of the, the tank there. I'm going to pick them out with white paint. It's 
starting here. Trying not to touch the tank, of course. Just to add a little extra detail. And I think that will just add uh, I think I'll just add a nice little effect, a nice white rail going all the way around. There you go. So I shall continue with the rest of it and then see how it looks then. See I have finished painting the handrails. So I've also added the foot rails to the top landing here and I've painted it all round. I've just got to wait for it to dry then we can add the um, final lettering to finish it off. Um, it's been painted underside as well. So just got to let that last little bit dry. Right, here we are at the fiddle yard. And uh, what I've been doing recently is fitting these old Hornby couplings onto the layout. And uh, basically they're about 300 mil from this edge to this edge of the uncoupler here. Now, these uncouplers do did have a square edge. Um, I have now taken the square edge off, which allows any um, any coupling to ride up instead of hitting the square edge and pinging off. Uh, all I've done is just taken off with a scalpel and then rubbed the rest of it down with a piece of sandpaper just to flush it off. And uh, these work fantastically well now. I mean, it's alright for a fiddle yard where they're not going to get seen. But just a quick demonstration. So, so any coupling now will just ride over that now and not hit it and ping off. Uh, that's the old type of coupling. This is the newer type of coupling. See, they just uncouple, no problem. Um, here's one on the coach. And these coaches have got two different decouplings. They've got the shallow ones, and that uh, back one's got a tom uh, slightly wider one. So, yeah. So just by taking that edge off. To make it something similar to that, you don't lose your couplings anymore. So that's just a quick tip. Alright, this back scene along this edge, I don't particularly like it. There are a town scene back scene, and where the joints didn't quite match, I've had to paint them. To try and blend them in, but where I've painted them, this seems to stick out quite a bit like a sore thumb. So I have three projects that I'm going to offer to you guys on YouTube. So I'll let you make the decision of which ones um, I'm going to tackle next. So, project one, renew the back scene. Project two um, is just to refurbish this old Medcalf kit uh, which was given and to finish off this little diorama piece. Um, 
just by adding little features and whatever so this is project number two so if you want me to do this one just stick it in the comments below okay and the third little project is this bridge uh, you know I like doing bridges um, 100 yards up the road there's another bridge and just a few meters beyond that there's another bridge but by doing this bridge just gets me that little bit closer to the gap so that's three projects I've just uh, offered you guys the back scene, the diorama or the bridge um, if you let me know which one you'd like me to have a go at just leave it in the message below now you're only allowed to pick one okay guys alright let's get back to that wagon okay here we are um, the paint has dried overnight and as you can see I have added a N and an E there and a L and R number plate there just to try and um, incorporate it into my railway um, as I said earlier these are the old transfers left over from when I had my O gauge railway but there is some really small ones that I have been using obviously the big ones are way too oversized so I've done one side so if I take that out flip that over and we'll do the other side now it's not the easiest thing to do um, I normally use a cotton bud and obviously I've got my water in there these ones the lettering seems to come off really really quick okay so the first things first is get a bit of water on the area where you're going to put your transfer not too much just enough to wet in the area put the transfer in there I mean I've, you can use tweezers but they get squashed so now we've just got to leave it on there until it separates There it goes, there you go, it's separated. Right, and then you just manipulate the letter till you get it where you want it. Which is somewhere there. That's the end done. And might look easy, but <laughs> it's just dip it in the water. And here's the E going on there now. So I'll just leave that for a little while. Use a dry cotton bud just to soak up some of the water. Eventually, I'll just prise away. There it goes. You're left with a letter. And use the wet cotton bud to manipulate it where you want it. Just somewhere there. 
Let's gently try it with dry cotton, but there you go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks about right. Make one more transfer left. Dip that in the water. Just leave that on there long enough. Don't take long for them to separate from the sheet. There she goes, she's come away from the sheet. There you go. Oh, well, the only thing is it's upside down. Turn it the other way up. There you go, just leave that to dry. Right, so you do the decals. Okay, uh, the transfers have now dried, so as you can see, with all the little extras, the paint, the decals, and the vacuum pipes, it's totally transformed it to something that may have run on our railways. So, we'll put it on the layout and um, we'll see if it's going to do its job. Um,
Okay, there seems to be a crowd gathered to have a look at this unusual vehicle that's arrived at the North Eastern. And um, it's been around the track a few times. And uh, let's just see if it's done its job. Yeah, it's definitely picking up the grain, which is good. So we'll pop that back. There we go. Right, and uh, don't forget uh, about the three projects I offered you earlier in the video. Um, the back scene, the diorama or the bridge. So just remember to leave a comment if you which one you want me to have a go at next. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. It's been an interesting little project this has. So I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.